Okay, folks, thanks so much for joining us. Today I'm going to be showing you how to turn a stationery set. Very cheap. This was only £10 and a lovely wooden fly box. Ideal for a boat or for um, loading up other smaller fly boxes whenever you're out and about. So you can see the price tag is still on it, which is tenner. If you already buy this fly box in a shop, you're talking £20, £30. And that's only the unbranded stuff. And it's it's larger than A4. It's a nice finish to it as well. So I haven't opened it yet, but let's see how we get on. As well as that, this might be a tenner, but for those with children, it's working out free because the stationery alone is worth that anyway. And I know, I know my son's chopping it a bit to get to the colour in. Okay, so that's what you're dealing with there, folks. Okay, and basically, we're going to remove all this. See if we can make sure this is on camera. So they're glued in, so I just need to pull those off. Set those aside for now. That's one side done already. And then doing the same for the top. And then don't worry about any of the damage, that'll all go in the pencil case for the kids. Okay, in fact, I didn't even need to take the top off because essentially what is this? It's an, another rack here. All I need to do is just cut this off. Just a few wooden dolls. Which is fairly easy. Like that there. Okay. Put those to the side. And then for this, there's a wee micro screwdriver. Always the hardest thing you find is the small screwdrivers. The stuff you use for the kids' batteries. I do have a wee bit that will hopefully work here. And all I need to do is just a few turns, just enough to get the, get the screw moving. Okay, so that's it done. The bit doesn't work, but hopefully, there we go. We might have to get it out one way or another. That'll all be covered up anyway. So, we'll just set this aside as well. And a little bit of that. So, basically, now you're looking at a lovely fly box. Potential for a great fly box for essentially nothing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some foam in. So again, being a cheapskate that I am, I've just got old foam here that I've got. I always keep foam for flies and stuff like that there. This came from, it was a, an office chair I got there recently. So what I need to do is just measure it up. It doesn't have to be too accurate. Set that cut obviously because it's going to be inside. I'm going to offset it by about half an inch or so. I kind of took this as you go along anyway.
Yeah, we'll have a look at that. Okay. And then now I want one the same size for the far side. That's just going to be very similar. So I can use that as a template. Okay, now that we have our pieces sized up, all we need to do is attach them to the the wood here. So what I've got here, you can use any adhesive, you can use strong as nails, Gorilla Glue, just tie it up to yourself, but I just use this wee hot glue gun, it's as handy as anything, and it works well with this kind of foam, so it doesn't melt it, whereas it probably would melt the likes of polished iron. I'm just giving a nice even spread. Okay, change of plan. So the hot glue gun, I actually ran out of glue. So <laughs> thought there was enough, but you need another um, another piece to push in the existing glue. So just going to use some new, no more nails. Just to fill in the wee gaps here. That's not as instant a bond. The only thing about using like some no more nails is that you will need to apply a bit of pressure on it. So leave it overnight, put a few things on top. Okay, and again, I'm going to just do a bit this side as well. Just a few spots, corners in the center. Then I'm going to apply pressure. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this in the guys and leave a few things on both of those to make sure that, or even I'll probably close it up with something in it. Um, a few bits of newspaper or something out there to keep the pressure on both sides. Um, but that would be it. That'll be your, your fly box complete then folks. So that's your it's a free fly box. It looks well as well, so well you can use fancier foam if you want to, but as well as a neat way to display your flies as well, um, and hopefully you found that useful. As always, if you did, hit that like button below, and if you haven't already done so, please subscribe. Until next time, all the best, thanks very much.